What's the crack lads? Welcome in to another video on a Monday morning. Hope you guys had a great weekend and hope you guys are doing well. Now we have got new epic players. Now these guys pale in significance I think with the boosters but we do have Barisi, Mykon and Candela. Both of these are new to eFootball and Barisi of course is brand new. He's a brand new legend uh, but Mykon looks very very decent as well as an attacking right back and so does Candela right. But Barisi is the pick of the pack here but as I said these are in a 150 limited draw box. You've got eight other players that are guardian players as well. I did a preview yesterday and we kind of guessed some of these levels but some of them are decent so we'll go through them in a separate video I think we'll just give a quick run through of them because I want to show you the best builds for Barisi, Candela and Mykon um, who are a little bit limited so you will need to put a bit of bit of effort into them but these are the guardians here that you have Pavard and Chiao are probably the best players that I would say there uh, Smalling's not bad either and Chesney of course is, is he's an average goalkeeper right but the big pick of them is Barisi so we're going to start with him right now he will you will notice that he's got the booster plus two so it's not plus four like Messi so they do kind of pale in significance a little bit because of the plus two rather than the plus four I mean we get greedy now we'd be like oh you know this player isn't as good because he's only got a plus two booster but he's got unwavering form he's going to be locked on B rating he's actually got 27 levels as well which is quite decent um not as probably meta as you know you could have with this card because he is he is a short center back right that's the one thing I would probably be using him as kind of like a third center back um, as part of a back three, either on the right or the left. I wouldn't be using him as my main aerial threat. But to be honest with you, lads, I mean, height is really kind of uh, negated by um, jumping and stuff. I mean, anyone that's used Cannavaro or Cardoba, Cardoba and Roberto Carlos, especially with the jumping, they win headers against, you know, players like that are just way bigger than them. So I wouldn't worry too much about it unless you're coming up against the King Collar or Haaland or somebody that's very strong as well as good at jumping and winning aerial battles right but this guy's stats are incredible for a defensive minded center back that can also play a little bit of ball now i don't know why you'd want to be playing a little bit of ball with the way the gameplay is and a little bit of input uh, delay sometimes with your defenders and your dmfs i would just be getting rid of the ball or hoofing it or if you are playing possession just passing it out he does have one touch pass weighted pass and low lofted as well as all the defensive skills that you could want I would add on aerial superiority. If you could get that on him, I would add that on him 100%. It will just make a difference in the air as best as he possibly can. And I would also add on heading. If you're able to put heading and aerial superiority on this guy, you can use him as one of your main defenders, even though he is a little bit short for a center back, right? So he's going to be bringing the ball out very, very nicely. So that means with the training guide here, with the max booster, when we actually go over here to eFootball DB, right, we're going to actually take a look at these cards um, in a little bit more detail, right? So I'll just leave the, the the upgrade there or the final version of them there at the 99. Barisi, this is obviously without the manager boost and without the uh, actual boost in game that he's going to be getting his max booster, right? So we're going to be adding plus two to defensive awareness then uh, for his booster and tackling. And then we're also going to be adding a plus two for the manager bonus, right? So that's going to mean that his defensive awareness is going to be up over 100. His tackling is going to be 98. His aggression is going to be 90. And his defensive engagement is going to be 99. But there's more because we're also going to be getting a boost to jump, which will bring it into the 94 zone. And then speed and acceleration. If you are using 10 hag, speed will be 80 and acceleration will be 80 because he's getting a boost to that as well. So effectively, you are going to have a center back with pretty much maxed out defensive stats. If you add a couple of uh, player skills to him, he'll have maxed out defensive skills and you're going to have his defensive skill or defensive um, stats backed up by an 80 speed and 80 acceleration player with 86 balance and very, very nice stamina and physical contact. So apart from his lack of physical height, um, this guy is an absolute monster. I think one of the best center backs that they are going to release. And usually these players are kind of like boosted to, to no end. You know, Cardoba is probably my best center back pound for pound. Um, he never really lets himself down. So I definitely think Barisi is the pick of him, right? With Mykon, we're not going to focus too much on Mykon. Um, he has player skills, very nice player skills. If you want to take a look here, we can. Um, and just have a little look at him here, I'm turning on everything in my stuff here. But anyway, if you want to take a look at him here, right, we will take a look at his actual card. He goes to 33 levels. Um, he actually looks pretty decent as well with a high res kind of face. He gets plus two to his agility. So speed, acceleration, balance, and stamina, which makes a big difference for this card, especially with how you're going to be training him, right? Acceleration, especially because you're going to be getting a plus four to that. There's multiple ways that you can train him. Now, I kind of like if I'm looking at him as an attack and fullback, right? I'm kind of saying, does he have anything that kind of pulls him back to be defensive? He doesn't have interception, blocker, um, 
uh, man marking, aerial superiority, any of those really he is. He is definitely, lads, a right back, you know, um, that should be kind of like a wing back. Um, you know, his attacking ability is way, way better than his um, his ability at the back, right? Now, you can still, uh, his stats kind of tell a different story and you can still actually make him very, very compact at the back, especially with the boost that you're going to be getting to speed and acceleration and stuff like that. Um, and we'll just actually take a look at Candela's stats as well here and we will focus on the other players in the pack in a different video, right? We'll make it short and sweet. This guy actually does have very similar stats. He's another attack and full back. This guy is a left back. He can play left or right, either left mid, or right mid or left back or right back his passing gets a boost so that's going to be kind of where you actually uh train these guys up one thing i would say lads right forget about auto allocate and forget about actually trying to turn a player into something that he's not right the game kind of holds your hand a little bit into where you should boost up these players and that's what i would always say unless you have got ridiculous player levels that you can just you know do anything with the cards such as the new messies or anything like that or barisi that you can turn him into like a 90 plus acceleration type player I would always stick to what the game kind of like boosts up and just boost it even higher to make him a better version of that card, right? But again, when we take a look over here on eFootball DB, we're going to take a look at these two cards. They're both attacking based. Mycon is going to be a dribble centric right back that still has a bit of defense about him if you want to go that route with 90 plus speed, nearly 90 acceleration. Balance is very nice. Kicking power is nice if you want to take long range shots. Kind of like a right back Cafu. That's kind of how I would describe him with the passing, the dribbling, the defense is still solid enough. You could actually do a secondary build to this if you wanted to. And I've been kind of playing around with this build a little bit and let his player skills control his um if you were to let his player skills control his uh balls into the box you know pinpoint crossing and heading has been a little bit nerfed i would think that lofted pass at 78 is enough if you're not going to be swinging that many balls in here and you want to actually turn him into a defensive type uh right back you don't need any of these stats so this would be the second build that i'd go with i would actually take his speed down just a fraction just a fraction if you're using 10 hag or if you're using nobody else you can or somebody else you can leave the speed at 88 and i would also take down the dribbling a little bit because you're not going to be getting as high up the pitch you're still going to have the dribbling stats uh you know in the 80s and ball control in the 90 but i would throw 12 into defending to get that tackling to 88 and the aggression and defensive engagement over 85 right so that would be a very solid card there and then last but not least we have candela who's probably the weakest of them but he has got the highest levels he's got 36 levels okay which means that we can train him up in a couple of different ways defensively i think he's a bit of a bust i would definitely turn this guy into a passing master right so we're going to have with the lofted pass here it's going to be over 90 we're still going to have ball control dribble and type possession all into the high 80s or mid 80s speed is going to be 90 stamina is going to be 90 plus acceleration is going to be nice with the balance and defensively i mean you're not going to be getting that much bang for your buck with this guy um in terms of defense but i still think that he's a fairly decent card right he's not the worst card that you could uh that you could get right so we are going to take a look lads as well i keep turning off this wrong thing we are going to take a look at the rest of these but we'll do a, a dedicated video maybe like a three four minute video on this i want to get this barisi review out and pack out i think barisi is the pick of them definitely um and then mycon and candela to be honest i wouldn't probably use candela in this current squad that i have because he'd be competing with roberto carlos mycon as a as a, an attacking right back if i wanted to go defensive um you know on my left flank and then you know have mycon as my bombarding kind of right back I would probably turn him into like a midway game player where you have good defense, good offense, and just be able to get up and down the pitch. And Barisi in the back three would be insane if you can have him with two, you know, very strong guys and you can give him those player skills, right? The additional skills. So that's it for me, lads. I will talk to you in a bit. We will see you later. Don't forget to subscribe.